What is up, Fit Pros? I want to welcome you to another episode of the Fit Pro Business Podcast. Today is all about marketing, sales, and lead generation. This is my Monday show. If we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Andy Salazar, and I'm your in-the-trenches fitness business coach and mentor, giving you all the latest sales, lead generation, and business systems that are working for me and other fitness business owners to help us grow our business, increase our incomes, and have a greater impact on our communities. So if you are a purpose-driven business owner that wants to grow your income, and impact more lives, then this is the show for you. If you're watching via YouTube, please hit that subscribe button and get that notif- hit that notification bell so you get notified when I release a new video. As well as if you're listening on via my podcast, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button and come back when the show's over and leave me a review so this show can reach more people. Thank you so much for being here. Today, what I'm going to talk about is build it and they will come. Business is not about not a field of dreams. So business is not about you can just build it and then people are going to come and you're going to grow your business. Business is not a field of dreams. So basically what I'm going to cover today are four easy ways that you can be proactive with your marketing and grow your income. Does that sound appealing to you? I hope so. So stick, stick with me. So I want to go over two quotes like I always do. One of the first quotes is there's no secret to success. It is a result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. That's a quote by Colin Powell. So there is no secret to success. It is a result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. So don't expect to be perfect in your business. Realize that you're going to make mistakes just like I have and so have other people before me and other people that have been successful. Learn from those mistakes and grow from them and continue to move forward. The second quote is, Marketing is not a function. It is the whole business seen from the customer's point of view. That's by Peter Drucker. So marketing is not a function. It is the whole business seen from the customer's point of view. So just realize marketing in your business is really about telling your story, providing value to people, and having your message resonate with them and being your authentic self. And that's going to attract people. And that's going to be, think of what your customer is going to be seeing from the information that you put out, your website, your Facebook page, all of the content that you put out, what do you want your customer's point of view of your business to be? So, okay, let's dive right into it. Here are the four ways that you can be proactive with your marketing and grow your income. So the first way that you can be proactive with your business is what I call the power of three. And it sounds really simple, but I don't want you guys to underestimate the power of doing three things. And the three things that you can do, what are the three things you can do on, your da- on a daily basis in your business to help move your business forward? And what do I mean by that? So if you can focus, sometimes we get overwhelmed by all of the things that we need to do on a daily basis to help us run our businesses, train clients, manage trainers, whatever, all the tasks that we have to do in our businesses. Focus on doing three things a day that provide value to your target market. That could be an inspirational quote on Facebook, a live video, or posting a blog post. If you get consistent on doing those three things on a daily basis that are going to grow your business, drive traffic into your lead source, that's going to help create a ripple effect in your business or a processionary effect is what I call it. And that's going to help drive in leads into your business. And that's only by focusing on the power of three. Like I said, Sounds simple, but don't underestimate it. And it's going to start driving leads into your business. So if you can do three things a day, which I know that you can, we all have the ability to do three things a day, post an inspirational post, create a small content, create a quick video, all driving people back to our lead magnet or into our business to schedule a consultation or training session. The second thing is the level seven exercise. Focus on playing at a level seven within your business on a daily basis. And what do I mean by a level seven? And basically what I mean is if you can focus on your activity level in your business being high, high energy, high results focused on what is going to move the needle for your business and focus on playing at a level seven and not just going through the motions on a daily basis in your business, but actually when you're working, dedicating that time to working and building your business and playing at a level seven in your business, you're going to see an immediate impact in the growth of your business when you get consistent with playing at a level seven or higher in your business on a regular basis. And this is something I learned through my coach. I talk about him all the time, Eric Lofum. 
and he talks about when you're working to work, work on your business, work on the things that are going to help you grow your business, help, help move your business forward. Even if you're only getting 1% better every day, that's 1% that builds on top of each other and small wins creates confidence for you in your business. And I can't stress that enough. So focus on playing at a level seven or higher in your business and focusing on revenue producing actions that are going to help you grow your business. And I talked about this a little bit last week. So that is number two. And number three is add value to your target market. Get them to know, like, and trust you. And how do you add value to your target market? You can do that by doing how-to videos on your Facebook page, YouTube videos, telling people your story, showing people who you are, what your message is, and how you can provide value to their lives and improve their lives without making it that you're just pitching them to, for your service. You're actually providing value to them that they can use on their own, getting them to know you, like you, and trust you. And what this does is it creates, it invokes the law of reciprocity. And basically that is when you give somebody something of value and they see value in what you're giving to them for free, they in return want to give back to you. And the way they give back to you is with their business or through referrals. So when you're putting out content on a regular basis, make sure that your messages and what you're putting out is targeted directly to who it is that you want to serve. And make sure that you're providing um, immense amount of value to them. The more value that you can provide to them on a regular basis, wh whether that's you know showing them how to put together a workout program, showing them how to prep in the kitchen, or showing them behind the scenes of your business, letting them into your world or your biosphere, just letting them see what it is that you do and how you can provide value to them, how that they can get benefit from who you are and the service that you provide is going to have pay huge dividends on getting someone to know, like, and trust you. In order for somebody to want to do business with you or to refer you business, they first have to know, like, and trust you. Also, when you're providing this value on a regular basis, make sure that you're giving your audience, your target market, clear calls to action. And clear calls to action could be like, if you, this message resonates with you, message me for a free consultation or training session. Or if you'd like to learn more about how you can work with me, go to my website. Whatever your clear call to action, whatever next step you want your prospect to take, make sure that you're putting that information in to the information that you're putting out. So for example, right now I'm providing immense amount of value to you guys. I'm letting you guys know the four ways that you can be proactive and grow in your business and not sitting on the sidelines and not playing, you know, build it and fill the dreams and they will come. But actually being proactive. The same way I'm providing this value to you guys, I'm going to give you a clear call to action to go to my schedule and schedule a free 30 minute coaching session, breakthrough session at www.fitprobusiness.com forward slash breakthrough. If this re message resonates with you, schedule that free coaching session. It's the same thing that you guys will do and same thing that I do in my business when I'm providing value to my prospect, to my prospective market is giving them clear calls to action on what steps they can take to do business with you. What is the next step for them to take? Make sure not to keep them guessing. Don't make it hard on them to learn how to do business with you or where your phone number is, where your website is. Be clear on which the next steps are that you want them to take. So add value to your target market. Give clear calls to action. Get them to know, like, and trust you. Invoke that law of reciprocity and give them clear calls to action. And the fourth one is stay in front of mind awareness with who your target market is. If somebody has raised their hand and said, hey, I'm interested in doing business with business with you, but they maybe couldn't, you couldn't get them scheduled for a consultation or um, maybe they came in, but now it just wasn't the right timing. Something came up. Make sure that you're staying in front of that prospect, whether that's via text message on a regular basis, whether that is do, going through a um, newsletter that you send out on a regular basis. I personally use Fit Pro newsletter. Works great for me. It sends out two um, newsletters a week, one at the beginning of the week, one in the middle of the week. And that's a way for me to stay in front of mind awareness with my prospects, with previous clients, so that they continue to receive value from me. And the moment they're ready to come back or get back in shape, I'm the first person that comes to mind. I'm the first person that they think to call, not go to somewhere else or one of my competitors. So make sure that you have some sort of system in place that you are staying in front of mind awareness with your prospective clients that came in, your previous clients or clients that came in, but maybe um, now wasn't the right time. So 
Another thing I want you guys to focus on is just time plus consistency is going to equal results. I say this in my personal training business, but the same holds true for um, business. Time plus consistency is going to re equal results. So if you can be put in the time, be consistent with the actions that you're taking, like the power of three, playing at a level seven, putting out regular content that is, resonates with your target mar market, adding value, massive amounts of value to your prospective market, getting them to know, like, and trust you. Be consistent with your front of mind awareness and you are going to get the results. You are going to drive leads into your business. You're going to increase your income. I have no doubts about that. And that's what I've done in my business for the last 13 years going on 14 years. So those are the four ways that you can not sit on the sidelines and not just build a field of dreams and hope that they will come, but build that field of dreams and drive them into your business through your marketing and through um, being proactive with what you want to happen with your business. And number one was that power of three. I know it sounds simple. Focus on doing three things that are gonna help grow your business on a daily basis. That's gonna invoke that law, of that processionary law, as well as the ripple effect is what I like to call it. Focus on playing at a level seven in your business on a daily basis. Add value to your target market. And give them clear, get them to know, like, and trust you. Give them clear calls to action and stay in front of mind awareness. I hope that you guys receive value from this podcast and from this video. I really appreciate you guys for taking the time to listen to this. If you guys receive any value from this and want to learn more about how we can connect and how we, I can help you with your business, schedule that breakthrough call at www.fitprobusiness.com forward slash breakthrough. Also, give me some love. Hit the like button. Follow me. And I hope that you guys continue to tune in. Let me know if you guys have any questions or uh, need any additional help, want me to cover anything specific on these videos or this podcast. Also, if you haven't, if you ha currently own a personal training business, I'd like to interview you for my In the Trenches fitness business owner show that comes out every Thursday. And this is where we dive in and just touch on the things that, why you got, why you got started in the industry, you know, problems you've had with your business and the things that you've overcome and what you predict project for the future of your business and how we can help other personal trainers, fitness business owners that are looking to either start their businesses or are feeling stuck in their business, realize that we're all in this together and we're all learning from one another and that we're all going to be here to help each other try to grow our businesses. So you can schedule that also at fitprobusiness.com forward slash breakthrough. Again, I appreciate you guys and I'll check in with you on Thursday with my In the Trenches Fitness Business Show. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.